We are hour two of the U.S. Track and Field 100 Mile Championships. And here's Yolanda finishing off another lap. There you go, Yolanda. Zach's aid and crew. Jake's. Hello, here's our leader of the race right now for Hoka. He ran a great uh, 100K a few months ago with um, Jim Walmsley when Jim barely missed the world record. The aid station. There's Scotty. There's Amy. Scott's in the 72. Amy, you're in the 48, I believe. Timing is on element, racing timing. We have three races going on right now. 48 and 72 hour on the two and a half mile loop. <clears throat> the mile is on a one mile. I mean, the 100 mile is on a loop that's about a mile. And there's a national championship going on. Here comes Patrick Regan. Patrick, of course, has won Havelina many times in the open division. Another one of our fast ones. Speaking of fast, here's Zach Bitter, the world record holder at 100. He is currently in third. Phoenix Boy here in the Vegas Sun. And Zach is in the open division as well. There's like a 2,500 for first place, male and female. And then there's also a prize pool for breaking records, uh, course record and the uh, national record. In fact, you can end up getting home like four grand. So these guys are on the 48, 72 hour loop, slightly different, two and a half miles. <clears throat> Everyone running towards me now is um, in the 100 mile. There she is. These two are they're still together. Good to see you. Hour two, that's Marissa, who owns the American 48 hour record. Three days of the fair. Oh. So yeah, this part of the course, the one mile loop is a big NASCAR kind of loop. And they are coming down. They just do a big loop around this park. And here they're not with the other runners so it's kind of an easy place to identify the 100 mile this here coming up is Eric Clifton Good job. and the number on the back is their age group 60 to 64 I tell this story often, but I had a friend run this race and she didn't know why. Why do I have two bibs? And then an older gentleman ran by and then it dawned on her she was wearing the 4044 bib. It was her age because the age group, because there was age group awards and age group titles. So he's in the 5054. We have this beautiful lake here and some of our company. Look at all those Canadian geese. That's a lot of Canadian geese. More than I usually see. Bakersfield, where I'm from, it's a nice, toasty, warm place like Vegas. Very deserty, obviously. Um, I got here. Uh, the Jester did Born to Run 100 miler. Started Wednesday, finished Wednesday afternoon, 27 hours. He drove to Bakersfield, spent the night in Bakersfield, and then we uh, left at 3 a.m. and got here at 7 for the 8 o'clock start. And he is, that was his 198th, 100 mile finish. And this will be his 199th. And there's a public 100 opening up tomorrow. And he'll be doing, uh, that one will be his 200th, 100th for a career. 45, 49. Um, sorry, I don't know a lot of the names. I hopefully will be looking at the results. The results are, like I said, on the website. 
Um, here he is. Good job there. He's in the open. <clears throat> here she is, our Lee woman Camille. And off she goes. And there's Fast Eddie. Good job there. Yep, Midwesterner there. And there's Ed. You're live on Facebook, Ed. Awesome. Hey. hey. Ed's going for number 199. Yeah. There he is, Gene. Hey. He's definitely probably going for some national titles and some records, I bet. Gene's in a lot of these races. I see him many times. Gene Palmier. Good to see him out here. <coughs> so, yeah, they run there, start finish line all the way around this lake and then come here. So it's very much like NASCAR. The uh, 48 hour, 72 hour race is more of a uh, like Grand Prix Formula One course. Athletic Brewing Company is in the open. There she is. Say hi everybody <laughs> on Facebook. Hey, we got you live there. Good job, Mel. She just ran beyond limits with the gesture. I can't remember if she did the, I think she did the 100, so she's done one just a little bit ago. There he is, Ultra Jake. There he is. Let's go there, Jake. He's our UPS man. Was on our United States 24 hour national team, helped them for the win. And he's definitely going for the win. I was listening, talking to Zach a little bit before because the conditions, they are all kind of saying, you know, we want to go for the win and for the cash, you know, $2,500. And so records may not be in the books because of the warmer weather, but you never know. We shall see. In fact, job there. Here, I believe, is our leader. Like I said, he ran like a 630, 100K at that race at Walmsley. Just barely missed breaking the world record. Uh, Jim crushed the American record, and I believe him, Raj, he uh, broke the American record as well. Very fast. I don't think he's run 100 in the past. Not really certain. Of course, it's very important work. So, I think I will stick around. I mean, I'm going to do this live updates probably about once an hour. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to wait here because, like I said, people over here, they, the 48 hour, they go over there and do a loop around that grass and then come back and head back. The 48 hour, 72 hour race is kind of like a, a horseshoe where you do the inside and outside parts of the horseshoe. It's a... So you got plenty of company. Here comes Patrick. Patrick Regan here. Good job there. Like I said, he's won Havelina many times. So he's used to the heat. I think that was second. Patrick second and here's Zach third. Like I said, Zach had mentioned that everyone's probably going for the title and the cash. So I think we'll not, I think he thinks people could probably still go sub 13, which would be the course record as well. 